I hate shaving. The thought of dealing with those painful ingrown hairs, how much time it takes, all those annoying razor burns, it's like literally such a nightmare. I mean, can you believe as women we spend over 70 days of our lives just shaving? We all have much better things to do with our time. So I was really curious about in-clinic laser hair removal, but once I learned how much it costs, we're talking about $3,000 just for one area. And if you want to treat several areas like your bikini line, your legs, your armpits, you're looking at around $6,000 and that's just for one session and you might need several treatments throughout your lifetime. I obviously can't afford that. So I started looking into at-home laser hair removal devices which claim to be just as effective but they cost way less but I was really skeptical they would actually work. Then Dermaries reached out to me asking me if I wanted to try their device and so in today's video I'll be sharing my experience with using this. I've been using it for about a month my tips as well as how to use laser hair removal devices at home. If you love skincare, especially Korean skincare, as well as devices, then make sure to subscribe to my channel, that way we can stay connected. Before we jump into my experience, let's chat about the difference between IPL and laser hair removal. A lot of people think they're the same, but trust me, they are not. So IPL, or intense pulse light, is often called laser hair removal, but these aren't true laser hair removal devices. IPL uses broad spectrum light that has multiple wavelengths, meaning the light just doesn't target your hair follicle. Instead, it spreads out, which makes it less effective at permanently getting rid of your hair. So you might see some reduction, but you'll need a lot more treatments and touch-ups over time. This is also why you might have heard horror stories and complaints of people burning their skin from their IPL device. On the other hand, laser hair removal uses a focused laser beam with a single wavelength, and because this has focused energy, it's able to target that hair follicle to destroy it, making it permanent. So after you complete your full treatment, you won't have to worry about regrowth unless you experience new hair growth due to hormone changes like menopause. Even then, it's really easy to do a quick touch-up to take care of that. So to recap, IPL can damage your hair follicle, but it's not as effective as laser, which goes directly to the source and destroys it. So that's why laser hair removal is generally faster, it's more powerful, and it requires fewer sessions. So you might be wondering, how does home laser hair removal compared to going to a clinic. So honestly, it really boils down to a few key factors. So the power of the treatment, the convenience, the cost, and the results that you can expect. When you go to a clinic, they're using these really powerful medical grade lasers. And so they're designed to go deeper into your skin and hit those hair follicles harder, which usually means you get faster results and require fewer sessions. But these clinic treatments can get really expensive. I'm talking about thousands of dollars, especially if you're treating a few areas. On the other hand, at-home devices aren't as strong. That way, they're safe to use at home. They still work, but you still need to use them consistently over a longer period of time to get the same results. But the upside is you can do it whenever you want. It's pretty fast. It takes like 10 minutes to do your entire body, and it's way less expensive than clinic treatments. These devices usually cost a few hundred dollars, so it seems a lot at first, but if you think about how much you would spend at multiple clinic visits, it's definitely more budget friendly. Plus, you can use it for years, which definitely makes it worth the purchase. From a safety standpoint, in the clinic you have a professional so there's less risk of anything going wrong. They can also adjust things based on your skin and how your hair type is, so making sure that you're getting the best treatment. If you purchase the right home device and follow the instructions, these devices are very, very safe. This one by Dermraise is FDA approved. For a product to receive FDA approval, it must go through rigorous testing and clinical trials to demonstrate not only if it's safe, but it's really effective for its intended purpose. So here's the bottom line. If you really want fast results and you have the money, like you have thousands of dollars to spend, then I would go with in-office treatments. But if you want to save time, money, and you know you're going to be consistent with your treatments, then I would go with a home laser device. So it really just depends on what fits your lifestyle and your budget. Another thing I want to mention is before that you go all in on laser hair removal, the results might vary depending on your hair and your skin type. Laser hair removal works best on people with darker hair and lighter skin because the laser targets the pigment, so the melanin in your hair, and the more contrast that there is between your skin and your hair color, the more effective the treatment will be. So those with darker skin tones, it's really important to find a device that's designed to handle higher melanin levels to avoid that potential burn or discoloration. So Dermarise actually makes the device specifically designed for darker skin tones. It uses a specific wavelength that is safer for darker skin because it bypasses the melanin on your skin and focuses more on the hair follicle. Now, if you have lighter hair like blonde hair, red hair, gray hair, laser hair removal might not be as effective because there's less pigment in the hair for the laser to target. Now, some devices claim to work on lighter hair, but the results can be very inconsistent. So it's something to 
to keep in mind when you're looking at devices to buy to make sure that you're buying the one that works for your specific hair and your skin type. Okay, so let's talk about my experience with the Germray V8S laser hair removal device. This is the first FDA cleared laser hair removal device that you can use at home. It uses the same technology you'd find in a clinic, but it's not as strong, but it's still really effective. It has a targeted wavelength, so it's absorbed by your hair follicles rather than your skin, making it more precise and gives you great results. It also has twice the energy output of IPL, which means you'll get faster and more noticeable results. And I also really love that it's FDA approved and has other safety certifications, so it's been rigorously tested for safety and effectiveness. Dermrace has three different models, so you can choose which one works best for you based on your hair and skin type. I use the V8S Diode Laser. I actually think it's their 12th anniversary, so they've been in the industry for quite a while. They're kind of like the OG when it comes to home laser removal devices. So this device comes in a cute little pink box and it comes with instructions and a cord. I was actually surprised about how big this device was and it was really easy to put together. I decided to use this device on my armpits and my bikini line since that's where I get the most hair on my body. Here are my armpits before using the device. I didn't shave for about a week so I'm definitely ready for a shave. I don't know what's up with these long ass hairs, they're kind of gross. <laughs> First thing is that you need to shave the area that you're going to treat. This is really important because you want to get that laser to target the hair follicle under the skin, not the hair above it. So if you skip this step, it actually could hurt more and it won't be as effective. Then you want to select the level that you want. I always start with the lowest setting, especially it's the first time if I'm using the device and then I work my way up. Personally, I use it on level 5 because I don't have sensitive skin, but if you're new, then you want to take this slow. Then I used a stamping motion over my skin. This device was so easy to use. It took me about a minute for my armpits. I didn't feel anything. Sometimes I was wondering if this device was actually working because it was so easy and it felt really cooling on my skin. It also has like a built-in cooling system. That way you'll never burn your skin and it's really safe. Next I'm going to do my bikini area. Normally I shave my bikini area every week and so this is how much hair it grows within this time frame. I'm going to use this device three times a week for the first two weeks and then twice a week for weeks two to five and then once a month after that. Each device has its own recommendation for how often you use it so if you use a different device then make sure you follow the schedule they recommend. With the Dermrace device, you should see 80% of your hair removed within the first eight weeks, so about two months. And then if you continue to use it, it'll be even more. But it's really important to use it consistently. If you're not consistent, it's not going to work. So it took me two minutes to do my bikini area. It was really easy. It was so fast to use. Just a few weeks after using this device, I noticed a reduction in my hair growth. I also noticed that my hair grows back much finer and lighter, and I haven't had to worry about any ingrown hairs or razor bumps. So these are my results after one month. With my armpits, I literally don't have to shave anymore. I've been noticing I'll get little tiny hairs here and there. With my bikini line, I've noticed that my hair doesn't grow back as fast, it's less thick, um, it's a lot lighter, and so it's a lot easier to manage. Instead of shaving every week, I actually can shave like every three weeks, which is super nice. And I don't have to deal with those ingrown hairs, I don't have to deal with those razor bumps around my bikini line. So I'm gonna continue using this and then hopefully I won't have to shave at all and I can just touch up here and there. So that's it for today. I hope this really helped you understand the differences between IPL and laser hair removal and why I'm such a fan of the Derm Raise device. Now, if you're considering making the switch to at-home laser hair removal or you're thinking about giving a shot, I definitely recommend it. I think it's worth checking out. As always, if you have any questions or I'd actually would love to hear about your experience with using at-home laser hair removal, so make sure you comment below and let me know how it works for you. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time.